third type of problem that you usually have to solve is final velocity just before it hits the ground or sometimes it's referred to as the impact velocity and as you can see we don't need time we just need a distance acceleration due to gravity to find our final time or our final velocity I'm sorry so in this case now if they give you time and you don't have distance then you're going to have to use another equation to get distance or use another equation um, for final velocity but most of the time you have the distance or you can find the distance from one of the other two formulas we just did so in this case we got to find s so do we have a height or a distance yes we have a height or a distance so we're going to put down 629 629 meters g again is 9.8 meters per second squared. Let's see if we can get this. There we go. It's a big dot, but close enough. And again, final velocity is what we're looking for. And again, final velocity in the question, or in the formula, is squared, so we're going to have to square root both sides. But we'll get to that in a minute. So Vf squared equals 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. Let's see if we can get our decimal in there. That's a big decimal, but that'll work. Times 629 meters. Now, the odd thing about this, well, let's simplify our numbers. So we're going to take 2 times 9.8 times 629. That comes out to 1, 2, 3, 2, 8.4. Now, when we look at our units, we have meters times meters. So that's meters squared over seconds squared. But remember, we're going to take, we have Vf squared. So we're going to take the square root of both sides. And when we square root both sides, we're going to get rid of our squares on our units, which is meters per second, which is what velocity should be in. And we're going to get Vf. So the only thing we have to have left to do is take the square root of that number. And we get that, or when we do that, we get 111 point zero three. And that is our impact velocity or our final velocity for this problem. So the object, when it was dropped, just before it hit the ground, was traveling 111.03 meters per second.